saying guys today i'm gonna talk a little bit about the most common uh types of future that we use in english okay but before that i would like to invite you if you like this video please click like and also i would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel that way whenever there is a new video you will receive an email hey there's a new video check it out okay so talking about the three different types of future will to be plus going to and to be plus ing so i always say that it i always count three two one so the first one which is will i use in three different situations the second one which is to be plus going to i use in two different situations the third one which is to be plus ing i use in one situation okay so talking about will will i use when it sounds like a promise for example john i'll call you tomorrow so i plus will i'll okay when i say fast um and then i say i'll call you tomorrow it sounds like a promise or um let me see oh teacher i'll turn in the homework tomorrow so i'll turn in the homework tomorrow it sounds like a promise okay uh the second situation is when there is when it's like forecast for example it's very hot today i think it will rain so i think it will rain okay especially when i say i think it's a forecast or when you say i'm sure bolsonaro will be impeached so even though you say i'm sure it's like it's just your opinion there is no evidence that he will be impeached okay so you say i'm sure he will all right third situation is when it's immediate decision so when it's not something that i planned to do but i decided now and i'm going to do it now for example um It's hot. I'll turn on the air conditioning. Or uh, John isn't here, so I'll call him. I decided now, and I'm doing it now. I'm gonna do it now. Okay? So, I'll. All right. The second one is to be plus going to. So, to be plus going to, um, I use two situations. The first one is when there is also a forecast, but the difference is that it's a forecast based on evidence for example you look at the sky and the sky is pitch black so the evidence is pitch black sky you say wow it's going to rain or you look at a person she's pregnant you say wow she's going to have a baby the evidence is the baby okay um the other situation is uh when there is a plan for example i want to i want to go to brazil by the end of the year but i haven't decided the date yet so you say i'm going to travel to brazil by the end of the year but i don't know the date yet so it's just part of my plan okay it's not for sure yet it's just a plan that i have i'm planning on it um so i talked about forecast plan Yeah, that's it. So that these two situations. Now, to be plus ing. To be plus ing, I use when it's something scheduled. It's something for sure. For example, imagine that I have class tomorrow at 9 a.m. I scheduled a class, and then a friend of mine says, "Hey, Bruno, let's have some breakfast tomorrow." I say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I can't because tomorrow I am teaching at 9 a.m." I don't say I'm going to. I don't say I will. I say I'm teaching because it's already sure it's scheduled or imagine that i bought the airplane ticket so to brazil like on november 25th so i don't say um i'm going to travel to brazil no i say i'm traveling to brazil i'm traveling to brazil on november 25th or i'm flying to brazil on november 25th okay so that's it i hope i helped you if you have any questions let me know bye